Welcome to the course of Wireless Sensor Networks. I am your instructor Zeeshan Bangish and today we will be covering second part of our uh, topic Network Security Essentials Keeping in View Wireless Sensor Networks and this is your lecture number 18. Uh, in part 1 we discuss some basic concept uh, about security particularly network security and we discuss some concerns related to wireless sensor networks we talked about uh, three important key elements uh, for secure for a secure model and that are, that were and that are particularly the confidentiality the integrity and the availability apart from other mechanisms that needs to be incorporated for a wireless communication model and then we discuss some category of uh, the security levels or the impact that may be low moderate or high and then we also discuss some challenges uh, for a secure uh, for establishing a secure environment so let's move to the outline of our today's discussion and in this uh, discussion we will be dis we will we'll be talking about some security architectures uh, some aspects some important aspects of security and uh, the passive attacks and active attacks and what is the difference what is the what is the architectural difference in both the categories of the attack and then we will discuss some different attack categories uh, in detail and at the end we will try to summarize our today's discussion so let's uh, move to the first uh, agenda item of our today's discussion and that is because that is basically the security security architecture so as per the osi security architecture that is uh, proposed uh, for osi itutx.800 uh, this OSI security architecture defines uh, a very systematic way uh, of defining and providing security requirements. So whatever security models has been uh, proposed in the literature or have been implemented. So uh, it's basically following the uh, ITU TX. 800 model or the, the which is the security architecture for an OSI and the protocols have been modified for different scenarios for example if in case of WSNs so the different protocols that have been specified in this model have been optimized keeping in view the limited resource constraints uh, in WSNs because they are very limited in energy very limited in computation and memory and we need to uh, optimize the communication overhead as well so that the network life uh, shall be increased so the second aspect uh, second agenda item of our today's discussion is the aspects of security and uh, we have categorized it categorized it as three aspect of an information security and that and these aspects are the security attacks and then uh, the different type of attacks uh, that are that are to be uh, that are to be uh, that are to be considered and then the security mechanisms uh, we need to detect some intrusions or some abnormal behavior uh, and then we try to develop some models uh, so that such abnormality can be prevented and in case of any abnormality that happens any attack happen so the recovery procedures needs to be incorporated so that the recovery should take place in a limited time and in future the system needs to update itself so that uh, the future intrusion or any abnormality needs to be avoided and the detection systems need to upgrade itself 
so that any type of such abnormality can initially be detected at the first level and then the other aspect is basically some security services that needs to be incorporated into your into your system so some terms that are used uh, in in the secure model are the first term is the basically the threat and what is this threat it's basically the uh, a potential for violation of a security so whatever is is not permitted in your system and that permission have been overridden or uh, that uh, that permission has been uh, avoided so we can call it a violation or a violation of a security so what is an attack the another important second important term is the attack and it's basically an assault on system security it's basically a, a deliberate attempt to invade or to evade security services so basically not every abnormality is an attack however a group of abnormalities can lead to an attack so there is difference between a threat and an attack a threat may be intentionally or unintentional it may be bypassing the the memory requirements or utilization of resource that may not be dangerous in terms of the compromising of the complete system however uh, these uh, abnormality can be used by an attacker or can be used to design an attack so we need to monitor the threats or we need to analyze the system uh, keeping in view the different threats or different abnormalities and we need to fix it so that they cannot be uh, so that they cannot be a basics for providing a platform for a, for a severe attack so that this is this is the key considerations for securing for designing a secure system now uh, some categories of attack so the first category of attack is basically the passive attacks so what is this uh, passive attack so you can just look into the diagram that the bob which is the sender and uh, this sender wants to send something to a destination which is Alice. However, an intruder who is sitting in between the Bob and Alice tries to intercept uh, the, the the communication uh, or some uh, through some internet or some other communicating facilities, and whatever is sending between Bob and Alice. Uh, will be read by the dart and this is a sort of passive attack which is again very dangerous because the Bob and Alice do, do not know that the communication between them is compromised and it is being uh, read by a third uh, an intruder and uh, this is this is the example of the passive attack now this attack will continue uh, this attack can be detected keeping in view the uh, communication performance or the time between sender and receiver because the attacker is not changing anything it's just reading the information an example of such uh, such such an attack or a passive attack may be that if a bank uh, is uh, sending the accounts credentials the credit card information to the destination which is a customer and if any intruder is intercepting the communication and he is doing nothing to the to change the uh, accounts credential but is just noting down the credit card information or other account credentials and later on he can use these credentials to 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 get to misuse it or to get the money from the bank or from through some ATM machine so this passive attack during its attack process uh, remains undetected and this is a, a, a this is a dangerous type of attack 
now the another attack is the traffic analysis attack that the uh, Bob and Alice are communicating and again the darts which is the intruder they he is just observing the pattern of the intercepting the communication and from this communication if the Bob and Alice are communicating in a secure environment using a specific confidential pattern through some keys or through some encryption so this dart is extracting all the communication uh, data and then uh, analyzing that data to observe the pattern of the message that is generated from Bob to Alice and the main purpose is basically to guess the uh, confidential code or we can call it a key uh, so that the security of the Bob and Alice both can be compromised. So the traffic analysis has been done with an intention to observe the confidential uh, encryption or the key pattern either from the sender or the from the uh, or, or, or of the destination so that the security of both the sender and receivers because uh, be be compromised so the passive attacks do not affect system resources we already discussed that example is the average dropping and monitoring as we have uh, considered these two scenarios how are they are very dangerous because they remain unnoticed and that is again a, of a severe challenge and the two different uh, types of passive attacks we discussed is the release of message contents which is the first scenario and the traffic analysis and as we have already talked about that they are very very difficult to detect because there is no change in the communication content so that it can either be detected by a sender or a receiver that something that the link on which they are communicating has been compromised so they know most of the time when the any uh, mishap occurs uh, then they come to know that they when they are going to analyze the link they observe that the link is compromised but during the attack process during the interception process it remained undetected and that's that's a challenge for a network designer and another important aspect is that when the sender and receiver is communicating so the message transmission apparently looks to them as normal since there is no change of the data if the receiver receives any data that has been altered and after some algorithmic uh, computation it comes to note that as it has been altered on the way so he can know that the the link is compromised similarly if the set, center is sending data and the, the, and uh, during the acknowledgement process it comes to know that that the data not in its original form has been received to the destination so so this is this, so he, he can just so 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 the sender can can expect that the link has been compromised so passive attacks are very difficult to detect so the emphasis for such an attacks is that uh, more uh, efforts should be made for its prevention rather than detection and uh, uh, it can be prevented effectively by means of a strong encryption mechanism that is to be incorporated between a sender and a receiver now the active attacks so whatever is transmitting between the bob and alice so the intruder or the masquerader who darth it intercepts that package extract that package changes the content of that packet and then submit this altered data to the Alice so this type of attacks are active attacks and uh, 
the intention is basically to communicate wrong information uh, to the destination and you can just the uh, just look at the diagram in which there is no direct link between Bob and Alice and whatever traffic is Bob is sending to the destination it is diverted to a masquerader the Darth and uh, this Darth alter the information as well as it uh, it, it analyze the pattern of information so this active attack basically uh, is a bit is, is a sort of challenge because it is not not only changing the content of data data but it's also analyzing the pattern of the data sent from the da, uh, from the bob the center and in this way the communication patterns can also be observed now there's another active attack example which is a replay attack in which the Bob sends data to Alice and Bob, the data is communicated through internet or some communication facility to the destination. However, this uh, the, the sort of that data is a copy of the data also received to Darth which is an intruder. And after capturing the information, it tries to replay that information to Alice uh, later and which is a replay attack so this is also a scenario a type of attack in which the, the the data is received captured and then released to the destination after altering or after analyzing analyzing the, that data another example is the modification of message attack which is also a sort of uh, active attack we discussed uh, earlier that the Bob sends data and that data is uh, instead of receiving to the Alice it's given it's, it's received by or moved to the intruder uh, intruder that is Darth modify messages from Bob to all Alice and it is transmitted to the Alice so that's this type of attack we discussed earlier is called or is known as the modification of message attack the another active attack is the denial of service attack that the bob wants to communicate with here in this diagram it's not alice it's any server so this bob wants to connect or to the server try to get some services through the internet or communication line and the intention of Darth is basically to create a scenario or to create such a congestion in the network that Bob Bob will not may not Bob shall not be in a condition to connect the servers to get its services. So this uh, intruder or that Darth try to flood the communication path of the server, the internet or the communication facility with such a with such a congestion packets that uh, a long uh, queue has been cre is created and whenever Bob tries to connect to that server to get services uh, the connection cannot be established so the server respond or the network respond to Bob as the services uh, the service is not available so this is a, an active attack and an example of a denial of service attack. So active attacks basically try to alter system resources or affect their operations. So it basically modifies the data or create false data. And there are four categories of uh, attack. We discussed that the masquerading, reply, modification of message and denial of service uh, attack uh, that basically not only target a single system but it tar target the entire network to create a service denial for the whole network and again these type of attacks are very difficult to prevent and the purpose of a secure model for the active attack is that it try to detect and then after attack happens on a network it try to recover the system as soon as possible so the recovery time is of main concern the detection time that it should be detected 
uh, earlier and after attack happens so the so, so the system be live or available in a less num in a less time so we discussed about some architectures some aspects we differentiate between the passive and active attacks through some examples we discussed some categories of attacks uh, particularly some category of attacks related to passive and active and uh, that's all from our today's discussion and this is the reference from which the uh, topic has been taken and uh, thank you very much for patiently listening take care allah hafiz